Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be working on the R56 Mini Cooper S today. Before we get into things, make sure you give this video a like. It really does help me out and it shows your appreciation. Now then, I have a modification which I think all Mini owners should be doing as soon as they get the car. So, what is it that we're going to be installing today? It is this thing right here. Now, you're probably thinking, what, a dipstick? Yes, this is just a dipstick. It is not just any dipstick though. This right here will save you when it comes to owning a Mini Cooper. Now, why are we installing this today? Let's get the bonnet popped and let's take a look exactly why. Okay then, first things first, where is the original dipstick located? Of course, it's here. It's this yellow thing right here. Now, first thing you'll probably notice is to remove this, it's actually pretty tricky. It seems to get stuck all the way down the dipstick tube itself, and that is because the dipstick goes through a timing chain guide. So you want to be pretty careful when trying to remove the original dipstick. You want to be careful that you don't end up snapping it. So that is the first reason why the original dipstick, in my opinion, needs swapping out. The second reason why this dipstick should be swapped out is it is notoriously difficult to read. So, of course, we'll clean it off. We will install it. Pull it out again. And sure, it looks like it's at the max there, right? And then we turn it round and there's oil there, no oil there, oil there, no oil there. So which level do we go off? Very, very difficult to read indeed. Now I have heard of people making small cuts into the original dipstick to make it easier to read essentially for the cuts to uh, hold on to oil. But in my opinion, you're just gonna be weakening the dipstick itself. And not only that, that takes me to my third point. This end here, this is pretty weak because it's plastic. Don't know how are you gonna be able to see, but there is some fine cracks at the top there. And so it's probably only a matter of time before this breaks off and then ends up in your oil pan. So it's just as well that we are swapping this out today. Now then, when it comes to the new and improved dipstick, as you can see, it's flexible. So you're not gonna have the issue of it getting caught in the timing chain guide. So it's gonna be able to be inserted and removed so much easier without the risk of it breaking off. So we'll just go ahead and install it. Now, it is important to note that when you buy this, it's not gonna be the correct length. I'm gonna make this point now. Do not just install this and then go off the markers right there. You will have to cut this to the correct length, to the length of the original dipstick. In my case, it was around two inches too long. Of course, put them side by side. It's very easy to cut this. There is a tiny grub screw right there on the handle. Remove that with a, I think it's a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. And then essentially you just cut this. It's uh, basically a very long spring. Cut that to length and then you're pretty much good to go. So like I said, I'll go ahead and get this installed now and it should just literally drop into place. As you can see, so much easier. And we'll remove it as well. 
and we are pulls out so much easier and we can see the level a hell of a lot easier as well the oil is getting trapped in those markers there and yep we bang on the maximum Like I said, they're very important to make sure you cut that to the correct length first. And with it being red, I guess you could say it matches the rest of the car pretty nicely as well. Now, you may think I'm going a bit over the top at saying that swapping a dipstick out is, you know, a critical thing that you must do. But in my opinion, when it comes to Mini Coopers, you know, Mini Cooper S or just a base model Mini Cooper, they are renowned for using oil so the worst thing you can do and the thing that is going to ensure that you have to rebuild your engine is running low on oil so it is very very important to make sure you are checking your oil level at least on a weekly basis and again by having a much better designed oil dipstick it's going to make that task a hell of a lot easier well, there we go then, nice, easy job done. Now, like I said, in my opinion, before you do anything else on your Mini Cooper, you should be swapping out that dips. Like I said, it's very, very important that you keep on top of regular checks when it comes to your oil level. If you don't do that, it's a very quick way to ensure that your engine is not going to last. Believe me, I know I've had to rebuild this engine from scratch. Obviously, I bought the car with a blown engine. If you haven't seen all of the videos, I literally have a step-by-step -step of me disassembling and rebuilding this engine from scratch. So yeah, feel free to check that out. But like I said, I hope this video has been helpful. Oh, by the way, if you want to purchase the same dipstick that I have installed today, there will be a link down in the description box below. It's really not expensive. There is another well-known brand out on the market, which is like, I think six or seven times the cost. It's the exact same product. I'm not going to mention any names, but feel free to do your own uh, research. Um, but yeah, like I said, I want to thank you all for watching. Please give this one a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I'll see you all in that next one.